Insects are a diverse group of organisms. There are an estimated 950,000 different species of insect, making them the most diverse group of animals alive. Insecta is a class of organisms found within Kingdom Animalia in the phylum Arthropoda. For an organism to be classified as an insect, it must meet the following requirements. An insect, like all arthropods, must be an invertebrate. It must have an exoskeleton, and unlike other arthropods, insects have antennae. All insects are located in subphylum Hexapoda, meaning they will have six legs, two per body segment. This is how we can determine the difference between spiders, centipedes, millipedes, and real insects. Insects can be easily identified as they all have six legs and three body segments. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. These segments are found on all insects. Insects are also the only arthropods with the ability to develop wings. Insects are estimated to have the largest biomass of all terrestrial animals. It is assumed that there are about 10 quintillion insects on Earth at any given time. But how have insects survived and thrived so well? What advantages have led to the overwhelming success of insects on Earth? Some of the first insects were born some 400 million years ago, almost twice as long ago as the birth of the first dinosaurs. The oldest insect fossil found was deposited by hot springs 400 million years ago. It is visible that the fossil is a hexapod and has been determined a true insect because of the mouth parts and mandibles. When crustaceans began leaving the water, insects started to evolve from those crustaceans. Crustaceans and insects are very closely related as some of the first crustaceans are also the common ancestors of modern crustaceans and insects. Insects have evolved in many different ways, including being the first organisms to evolve wings. Insects in different parts of the world have different selective pressures, and therefore they've evolved differently. Some of the common insects that may be found in Ontario include several species of dragonflies, damselflies, mayflies, grasshoppers, mantises, crickets, bugs, butterflies, moths, beetles, flies, ants, wasps, and bees. They've all survived here as they have adapted to the environment they live in. Some insects may develop camouflage to hide from predators, claws or mandibles to attack prey, wings to escape predators, stingers to defend themselves, and much more. Most insects reproduce sexually with one sperm cell from the male and one egg cell from the female to create a zygote. This is not always the case as insects are so diverse. Some insects, such as aphids, give birth to live young, while the majority of insects will lay eggs to then be hatched. Aphids are also one of the few species of insects that can reproduce asexually through parthenogenesis, a form of asexual reproduction in which the offspring is developed from unfertilized eggs. This is most commonly seen in aphids, stick insects, and bees. In this diagram, you can see how bees can reproduce asexually or sexually, which will result in different types of bees with different chromosome counts to be born. The number of chromosomes that other insects have differ greatly. The common fruit fly only has a mere eight chromosomes. Male jack jumper ants have only one chromosome, while female jack jumper ants have two. On the other hand, insects can have many more chromosomes. The Agrodiatus butterfly has 268 chromosomes, one of the highest chromosome counts among all multicellular animals. <laughs> Insects don't have bones like us, instead they have a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton. Their exoskeletons contain microfibers of chitin surrounded by protein. The composition of chitin and protein varies from insect to insect. Insects have evolved with exoskeletons to survive the environments that they live in. Many insects may also grow wings, allowing them to fly. Insect wings are an extension of their exoskeleton and require insects to use their muscles in their thorax to fly. 
Usually insects will grow fore wings and hind wings after reaching adulthood. Sometimes a gender in a species or social class such as worker bees may not grow wings or grow them differently than others in their species. Insects are also notable for their compound eyes. They have thousands of receptors and individual lenses on their eyes. Because of the structure of their eyes, insects can detect fast movement and have a very wide angle of vision. Because insects are so diverse, the lifetime of a cell can vary greatly through different species. Insects catch, eat, and excrete food in many ways. Some insects are carnivorous, while others are not. Beetles, ants, mantises, and many more insects will eat other animals, while insects like butterflies and bees will drink nectar. Some insects, such as caterpillars, the larvae of butterflies, will eat plants. Carnivorous insects will sometimes fight others and the victor will eat the other one, or sometimes they'll attack prey without them even knowing. Some insects, like mosquitoes, may get their nutrients through other means, but mosquitoes primarily drink nectar and water. Insects will hunt for food and live in shelters based on the environment that they are in and what species they are. Bees and wasps live in hives, dragonflies will usually live near water, and many insects will live underground or in small, dark, usually damp areas. Many insects will hunt with their mandibles as a weapon, such as trap jaw ants, which also use their mandibles to soar through the air. So what advantages have led to the overwhelming success of insects on Earth? Insects have developed advanced eyes and wings, allowing them to see and maneuver more efficiently. They reproduce rapidly and lay many eggs, ensuring that several offspring are born. They've adapted camouflage, defense mechanisms, predatory mechanisms, and many more features that help individual species survive in their respective ecosystems. Their immense diversity allows insects to thrive in many ways, and in many places. With 950,000 species and 10 quintillion individual insects, it's obvious that insects are one of the most amazing and successful groups of organisms on Earth.